Welcome, here's his hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Uh, just got off vacation with my family. We had a great time. Um, I released a video while I was off, uh, the GameCube add-on for HyperPie. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, today's just going to be a quick tutorial on uh, how to set up your, configure your controller within a track mode. Uh, this is a very simple setup. Uh, I'm sure many of you are familiar with this already. Uh, I just wanted to make this video for anyone who's not familiar. Um, just start from, from scratch. So if you open up your your track mode, basically you're in the main menu, go ahead and press the tab button on your keyboard. And if you don't have a controller configured already, you can use your arrow keys. We're going to go up to controls, press enter. And we're going to want to go to the top where it says back. So back is basically, if you're within um, NES or SNES, if you go within to where the games are, you want to back up to the main menu to pick Sega Genesis or something, this will take you back. Um, I'm using a PlayStation 3 controller, um, and I will explain what buttons I use with that, and also what buttons you would use if you were doing my layout um, on an Xbox 360 controller. Now, this works for PS4, as well as Xbox One controllers as well. So we'll go into back and we'll go press enter. And we're gonna go down to add input and we're gonna press enter and once we do, we're gonna press, I use circle uh, on my PS3 or PS4. Um, if you're using Xbox 360, you're gonna to wanna to use the B button uh, or on the Xbox One, you're gonna to wanna to use the B button. So go ahead and press enter and press circle or B, whichever controller you're using. And now we can press that again, and that backs us up to where we are here. So this will be up, down, left, right. So it's up to you if you want to use an analog stick um, or a D-pad. I have mine configured for both. So let's just say I'm doing my, my D-pad, I would press enter. And I'll go down to add input, and I'll press up on my D-pad. And then we can use our circle or our B button to back up and go down. And then go ahead and do the same thing for down, uh, whether it's your D-pad or your analog stick. Left and right, same thing. Uh, for select, if anyone you're not familiar, this is not the select button on your controller or the back button on your controller. Um, this is to choose a game. So some people like to use the start button to start games uh, or to go into a menu. That's fine. Uh, for me, I'm going to be using the X button on PS3, um, or you would use the A button on Xbox 360. So go ahead and add your input down here, and I'll press X on my PS3 controller. And now I would press circle to back up. Um, so next, I don't use previous game, next game, page, page. Um, I don't do the displays. Uh, the displays menu. Uh, I don't, I, I just change it through the options menu, um, right here. I just do it there, so I don't make a shortcut, but you could if you want. Uh, filters, I, I don't use um, any of these, any of these uh, here. What I do use next, if we go down the list, you can use screenshot, and when I set up screenshot, I use uh, triangle on my PS3 controller, or you can use the Y button on your Xbox 360 controller. Um, so you would just go in here, add input, and I'll press triangle, boom. So now if I want to uh, take a screenshot of my main menu, I can go ahead and do that by pressing the triangle button, or you would press Y on your Xbox 360. Configure, um, I use my my left uh, analog stick like a button so my L3 um, and I always leave tab on my keyboard it's always great to leave the keyboard buttons as is so don't go don't ever remove this um, but for I mean let's say I removed my configure button there but I still have tab I never remove tab go to add input and I'm just gonna press L3 like a button boom so now if I were to get out of here Here's me pressing tab, I'm in, and L3, I'm in. Um, we'll go back to controls, 
go back down to <clears throat> excuse me so we were on configure um, next one is favorites so I use the square button on PS3 uh, you would be using your X button on Xbox 360 if you want to add or remove favorites and I'll show you that once we're done configuring our controller next thing I like to use is previous letter now for previous letter I use my L1 button so I'll show you this as well when we get into a game menu go ahead and add input I use L1 um, which would be your left bumper on Xbox 360 we'll back up and then I use R1 for next letter which would be your right bumper uh, on Xbox 360 edit game has already been like that I don't mess with anything else other than what I showed you so let's go back and we'll go into final burn alpha and this is a work in progress build as you can see let's say caterpillar I wanted to add to favorites I'll go ahead and press square or if you're using 360 press X and it'll ask you do you want to add to favorites and you can go ahead and click yes uh, I'm not going to do that um, and let, we're on C right now so I'm going to press L1 it's going to take me to B A numbers Z so on and so forth and that's me pressing L1 I'm going back a letter if I want to go to the next letter I would just press R1 C that D E F G so so on and so forth so that's pretty much it guys uh, it's a nice simple setup I just wanted to uh, make this video so that everyone was aware on how you're going to set up uh, any attract mode builds um, that that I that I put out or anyone puts out really or if you're building your own attract mode um, and you're new to the scene and all that stuff I definitely want you guys to know exactly how to configure controller um, now you can change up those buttons however to your liking uh, but I hope this gives you a little bit of a step in the right direction so guys if you liked the video hit that like button subscribe to the channel and most importantly have a good day